It's the biggest structure of its kind, a mobile steel mound. And on Tuesday, it was inaugurated in front of Ukraine's president, Petro Poroshenko, who paid tribute to those who took part in its construction. Today, they guarantee a hundred years of nuclear safety. A lot of people had doubts. A lot of them didn't believe in this. But congratulations, yes, we did it. This movable steel dome has taken 15 years of planning and four years to build. Large enough to fit the Statue of Liberty, it's been carefully put into position and will now undergo testing ahead of being finalized next year. The most significant change from our perspective is that the new safe confinement, when fully functional, will indeed protect the environment and the people, which will then allow authorities of Ukraine to do other activities which you otherwise would not do with this risk present. In April 1986, a huge explosion ripped open Reactor 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear plant during an emergency shutdown. The leaking radiation was detected as far away as Scotland and Spain. The then Soviet authorities covered the unstable remains with a hastily built radiation shield. But it was already too late for the tens of thousands who lived within the plant's vicinity. The final stage of the safe confinement project represents a huge technological milestone. But it's here in the nearby abandoned town of Pripyat where you can see the legacy of the fallout from Chernobyl. More than 30 years on and the decaying remains are frozen in time. Nearly 50,000 residents were evacuated in a major government operation that began the day after the disaster. Those who lived here thought they would be back within days. But Pripyat remains as it was since the day everyone left. Scientists say it will take 24,000 years for this place to be safe to live in again. The Chernobyl Safety Dome is a one-of-a-kind project. Everyone who's worked on it here hopes that it will be the last one that there will ever need to be built. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Chernobyl.